So Senate Republicans had to make a choice. How to pay for all those juicy tax cuts for their rich buddies. I'll tell you how, blood money. Senate Republicans wrung some extra dollars out of kicking people off tax credits that helped them afford health insurance. They raked in extra cash by letting states drop even more protections and benefits, like maternity care or prescription drug coverage or mental health treatment. And then they got to the real piggy bank, Medicaid. And here, they just went wild. Senate Republicans went after Medicaid with even deeper cuts than the House version. The Medicaid expansion, gone, ripped up and flushed down the toilet. And the rest of the Medicaid program, well, for Senate Republicans, it wasn't enough that the House bill was going to toss grandparents out of nursing homes or slash funding for people with disabilities or pull the plug on health care for babies born too soon. No, Senate Republicans wanted to go bigger. The Republican bill claims to protect kids with disabilities by leaving them out of the calculations that decide how big the Medicaid cuts will be in each state. Now, I don't know if the Republicans were expecting a round of applause for pitting kids with breathing tubes against vulnerable seniors or someone needing treatment for addiction, but I do know this so-called exemption won't do a thing to help these kids. The Republican cuts still slash hundreds of billions of dollars for Medicaid, leaving states with no choice, no choice, but to cut services that kids with disabilities desperately need. Medicaid is the program in this country that provides health insurance to one in five Americans, to 30 million kids, to nearly two out of every three people in a nursing home. These cuts are blood money. People will die. Let's be very clear. Senate Republicans are paying for tax cuts for the wealthy with American lives. Just think about what would happen 